So an out-of-body experience, your physical form, you won't be conscious of what it's doing. So I've had periods of time where I've just been sitting down like this, and all of a sudden, three hours later, it's three hours later, mm -hmm. and I'm still sitting like this. And what's happened in between? Like, I know that there was just a time space in between that I had three hours, and I don't know where it went. I didn't go to sleep. And so at that moment, there was an out-of-body experience. Mm -hmm. And the consciousness is with the spirit body and the soul, right? And because of the disconnection, I still feel between the two. Obviously, I'm not conscious of that in the awake state. Now, that's happened quite often, and that happens quite often to lots of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, a vision is a bit different. A vision is more something, inspiration generally, that's given to you by a spirit. And the spirit feeds you things about their life to help you with their emotions or they connected you with you in some way or they're feeding you truths that uh, they feel you, you need to look what they believe are truths that they feel you need to look okay. at. Do you have many spirits sort of uh, bothering you, hanging around, wanting to have a chat all the time? Um, going through these unworthiness emotions, I've had lots of malevolent spirits around me. Um, at one stage I had around 50 or 60,000 malevolent spirits all projecting anger at me. Um, could you could you feel that? And yeah, yeah. yeah. So what do you do? I just and cry. But don't we pray? What about the power of prayer? In, in your definition. Well, that the, my prayer is to do my prayer is to do with all my emotions. Right. There's obviously fifty thousand spirits wanting to be angry at me for yeah. some reason yeah. within me. So I needed to deal with that emotion. So all I did was feel it. I did see. I see. Unlike you, I don't try to prevent it. Mm, mm, mm. He welcomes it. I welcome it. I don't try to prevent it. It's just an experience that's occurred to trigger some emotions in me. You follow me? So I don't try and prevent these events. I just try to fuel my emotions. That's why they're there for, to help. God's already helping me. That's my prayer. I want like, constantly to deal with my emotions. That's my prayer. So God's already helping me do that through that attraction. The law of attraction is at work. Now, once I worked through and cried about that and let myself feel all those projections of anger and the unworthiness that was in me as a result, they all went. They have just left me. I told you said before you already met us before here in the physical. What do you no, mean? in the sleep state. In the sleep state. Yeah, yeah. So every night you go to sleep, you're in the spirit world. And I met you there at night. Well, I was there too. And we like, talked. Yeah, like we, a deja vu. Groups like this. Yeah, that's why many of you, when you first saw me, thought, oh, I think I've saw you before. Yeah. Many, of you, many of you said that to me. <laughs> I thought you must have been in the court. Yeah. I felt I'd seen you up there. Yeah, and, and the truth is that you have seen me before, but it was in our sleep state. That's where you saw, you saw me before. And all these feelings of deja vu that happen, they're all related to sleep state experiences. Yeah. Because mountains actually move for us three to get here. Yeah. yeah. Not the ocean, mountains. <laughs> so, so obviously at the soul level you really wanted to, you wanted to hear this in your awake state. So most of you have heard all of this information in your sleep state and you wanted to hear this information in your awake state. And it's in the awake state that you're now hearing it. That's going to help you deal with all of these emotions that are preventing the connection that occurs between your sleep and awake states. If you like. So it's going to help you be whole. Okay. We'd like